un very unbelievable and a very sad one. Nigerian police formed ignorance as headsmen stabbed challenger to death in Enugu. Nigerian police pretended like, I mean, they are not aware. They don't know what has just happened and pretended like nothing just happened. Welcome to Nigeria. A young man, you know, was challenging a Fulani headsman for, you know, going to his, to going to his farm and just destroying all the crops and what have you. Like they are bloodthirsty, they have to bring out their dagger and he, and he stabbed the man to death. People in that vicinity not wanting trouble, knowing what has happened previously. You touch a Fulani headsman, you have touched the, the poisoned apple or you have touched the anger of the gods. Yes, they reported the matter to the police. Guess what the police did? <clears throat> you will hear it very soon. I mean, Fulanis, in case you are not aware, <clears throat> They have a big stake and they, they have a very big whatever in this country because their brother is in charge. And that's why they are very emboldened because they know no matter what they do, they are not held responsible. In case you think they are, you are deceiving yourself, your own self and just yourself. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Please form ignorance as headsmen stab challenger to death in Enugu. An unusual calm has involved Eneli of, a, of Enugu Metropolis from metropolitan area following the killing of an Igbo boy by a Fulani headsman on Saturday. According to the eyewitness, the trouble started when the Fulani headsman accused the victim, whose name was given simply as Temple, of trespassing where his cows were grazing. At Obugu Community Estate, Obugu Crescent, Eneli. The eyewitness said the Fulani headsman drew his dagger and stabbed the victim to death. After he saw that the victim questioned him whether the land he was grazing his cattle belongs to him, when the Fulani man noticed that his victim had died, he took to his heels, said the eyewitness. The eyewitness, however, noticed that some of the members of the vigilante, local vigilante who were contacted by residents, approached the assassinate, the, assass the one who has assassinated the boy and handed him over to the police. When the state police public relations officer, Daniel Unuko, was contacted on telephone, he said, please, my brother, I am very busy. Can you send me a text message on the incident when you heard it was involving a Fulani headsman? You heard me correctly. When he heard that it was a Fulani headsman that has killed somebody, he said they should contact him. They should send him a text message. But if he hears that it's, a, if it's an Igbo boy that have done something, they will come with their power and might. Welcome to Nigeria. Where yeah, justice is out of the window. There is no crime. For, there is no punishment for crime for some people, but other people must be dealt with. We are inequality. Injustice is the order of the day. This is Nigeria where people are treated as though they are second class. Some people are treated like second class, while some other people go about whatever they are doing and pays no attention. This is what is going on, my wonderful people. This is what is going on. This young man asked and said, why? Why are you, you know, grazing your cattle here? And that was what led to him going to meet his maker untimely for asking that question. Now, the police that is supposed to keep law and order, what did they do? They, they pretended, yeah, from ignorance on this issue. And the people of Enugu State, you know, did not want to, you know, get their hand. They take laws into their hands and they do whatever they are not supposed to do. Before you know it, you know, they will come on them. And before you know it, it's a big, they will say Enugu boys. They will not say they are IPOB. They are chasing out Fulani headsmen. And the whole, it will become an ugly incident. They will turn it around. They will turn it on them as if they, they are the criminals. They are the ones who committed the crime. They will turn it on them. So they, they, they alerted the police. But what did the police do? Nothing. The police said they reported the issue. 
Call the police. This is what is happening here and now. Somebody has been killed by Fulani headsmen. Then he sent a message. Send me a text message. Drop me a text message. I'm very busy. Somebody has just been killed by Fulani headsmen. But if you hear that, you, you see the you see the injustice, the imbalance in our society. But if he hears that is a that is an Igbo boy that have done something to a Fulani. Because Buhari will ask him, where were you when they did this and that and that to the Fulanis? He will rise up. Can you see that even our security agencies, they all know. They know what is going on. And they know who, and they know on what side they are on, on regarding this whole issue. They know on what side they are on. They don't, they don't just uh, answer, they know who to answer to. They don't answer to everybody. They don't answer to every. You, you know, understand? They don't answer to everybody. They know exactly what they are doing. You are the one who thinks that you know they they they, they care about the people. They know what is going on. By the time they arrest a full anima, the alga will ask them, "What did that one do?" And the alga himself is their brother. I say, "Well, he killed somebody." Eh, okay, leave the case with me. The next day, you will come back. The guy is gone. You go and ask your boss what happened to that guy. This is what is going on. This is why they are really, they know that there is no punishment for their crime. Nigerians are the sacrificial lamp. Nothing will be done. But if it's an evil boy, they will come after them. And, you know, this is why, you know, I mean, no, we're not saying anybody should commit crime. If you do, you are caught. You'll be dealt with with the full route of the law. Mm -hmm. Disclaimer, we're not encouraging anybody to commit any form of crime. But this is why some sets are angry and saying there is injustice in the land. This is part of the reason why Nigerians want out. These are part of the reasons why things are the way they are. People speak. They say, no, you are sectionists. You want to destroy the country. Uh, we'll put you in prison. Just like they are doing to... You don't know what they are doing to Nandi Kano. There's no reason. No, there's no reason for Nandi Kano to still be in prison. There's no reason whatsoever. They don't want to do the... They'll just be dragging the court dates to suffer him. It's an intentional move to keep him suffered, grounded... That so that next time he will not challenge them. It's an intentional move. They do it very well. They do it very. It's just to keep him down, to keep him grounded. To you know, if they we speak, they say, yeah, let us deal with him so that he will no longer you know want to do this. And that's what they are doing. Why would they not bring him to court? You know, and they will tell you for whatever flimsy excuse. Welcome to Nigeria. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.